Hi, I'm Sarah, OSHA's US Podcast Ambassador and host of OSHA's Podcast Tips. And today I'm going to show you which free software you can use to record your podcast remotely. Welcome to Tips. Tips. Hello, Mama Roo, Miss Paul, Miss Charles, Mother. Oh my gosh, hi, I'm Sarah. Um, I was wondering if you would like to record my podcast with me next week. It's called What's the Tea with Sarah D? You would? Oh, and don't worry, we can record remotely. You don't even have to be there. Fabulous, yes, Queen, amaze. See you then. Ah, she's gonna do it. <laughs> and just like that, you found an amazing guest for your podcast but they happen to live across the country, or maybe they just don't have time in their schedule to come to your home studio. And by home studio, I definitely mean your bedroom closet. But don't worry, because today we have so many options of different software that can help you record remotely for free. Yes, for free. I said it. Free! So let's look at some of the options that are out there for recording your podcast remotely. The first option you have is Zoom. It's free, it's easy, and you've probably used it a lot in the past few years. Basic free version of Zoom is definitely limited, but you can also use it to record your podcast. First, you and both your guests have to download the Zoom software. Then, after you started your meeting, simply hit the record button. You can even record your audio on separate tracks. This makes editing and post-production much easier, but you do have to go into the settings to set it up before you start recording. One thing to note about Zoom, which you probably already know, is that with the free version, you only get 40 minutes of meeting time. So you either need to be really efficient with your recording or you need to plan out several meetings in advance. That way, after the meeting's finished, all you have to do is launch the next call and your guests will be there waiting for you. A second option for recording remotely is using Skype. But the biggest disadvantage of Skype is that sometimes the connection is a little unstable. This software is super easy to use, allegedly. And when you're finished, all you have to do is extract your audio from your MP4 file. Contrary to Zoom, you won't have separate audio files, which you find is really practical in post-production because like, what if someone sneezes? <laughs> bless you. The problem is if you have some unwanted sound, you won't be able to cut it out easily and that sneeze could haunt you for the rest of your life. If you're just starting out, Skype and Zoom, they can be a good introduction to recording your podcast, but it's not necessarily the best way to go. Now we've made it to a software which is actually dedicated to recording podcasts remotely, Zencaster. You can try Zencaster for free and I think you'll be really surprised at how simple it is to use and how efficient it is as well. And creating an account only takes a few minutes. Unlike Skype and Zoom, everything is done through your web browser. So there's no need to download any software on your computer or your guest computer. It's nice because all your guests have to do is click a link and bam, recording your podcast. Easy. You can also add notes during your recordings which can make your life easier in post-production. And at the end of your interview, you'll receive your audio files on separate tracks, each guest having their own audio file. There are even more great post-production tools you can use on this platform, but you do have to pay for them because not everything can be for free. And that's the real tea. Also with Zencaster, there's no limit on your recording time and you can record up to four guests. That's pretty nice. They actually have a beta version where you can record up to 10 guests, which frankly, I don't even have 10 people I want to talk to, let alone at the same time, let alone put to a podcast. But you do you, that's fine. Basically, if you use Zencaster, you will be recording your podcast like a pro. It is the platform that I personally recommend you use to record your podcast. And I'm not even paid to say that. Another software that works in the same way as Zencaster is Riverside. It's also used through your web browser, so no need to download anything. With Riverside, you can record video in 4K and you get impeccable audio files without any compression. Really good. In fact, Riverside saves the audio and video of each guest on their computer and then it's uploaded onto the platform. Basically, what this means is that the quality of your recording is not reliant on the internet connection of each guest, which in the words of Shangela, Hallelujah! With the free version, you will have separate audio tracks for each of your interviews, but you have a two hour time limit and you'll have the watermark of Riverside on all of your video exports. But the free version is definitely interesting if you just wanna to get to know the platform before you upgrade to a more superior and paid plan. 
finally, let's talk about Squadcast. With Squadcast, you can create high quality video and audio content. And like Zencaster and Riverside, it's an in-browser program. There is nothing to download. The huge plus with this program is autosave. Every time you record, there is a cloud backup for your recording which in the words of Shangela, again, hallelujah to the cloud. So if there's a technical failure or you can't access your recordings, Squadcast has your back. This program is as good as Zencaster and Riverside, so definitely check it out. And I've actually recorded a few podcasts remotely using this program. There are of course many options to record your podcast remotely, but these are just a few to get started with. I'm curious to know what you use to record your podcast remotely. Leave me a comment below and let's talk about it. We're not done. Did you think we were done? We are definitely not done with this video. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You've chosen your software, sure, but you're not gonna record your podcast with your computer. Listen, I beg of you, please use a good microphone and headphones even when you're recording remotely. This is not an option. Just do it, okay? If you're recording your podcast remotely, honestly, this is a must. You know how annoying it is to hear people talk over Zoom? Do you want to hear that in a podcast? No. And if you use your computer speakers, then when your guest is talking, their voice is coming off the computer and you're recording from the computer and then their voice is going back into the computer and it's this layer of really bad sound. So make sure you get a good mic and you have your headphones. Pay attention to this and make sure to tell your guests the same because you don't want to have that background echo in your recording. Which leads me to my second point. Use a good microphone. Do not make the amateur mistake of using the built-in microphone on your computer. I've made that mistake. It's not good audio quality. Listen, you can buy a USB mic and plug into your computer. Problem solved, it's really easy, but it will dramatically change the quality of your sound. So just do it. When you have your microphone plugged in, you'll need to go to your audio settings to select the external microphone as your input for your recording. Between you and me, I have been a guest on someone's podcast that was being recorded remotely, and I had a better microphone than the host. And by better microphone, I mean like I had a microphone and they had none. Don't let your guest outshine you with better audio quality. Because if you can't record yourself, how the hell are you gonna record somebody else? Can I get an amen? Amen. Thank you. So to make sure that you have good quality audio coming for your guests as well, consider sending them a small package with a USB mic and headphones. A lot of podcasters do this. If you do it far enough in advance, it's really not hard to organize and it can really make the difference with your recording. And that's it. Now you know some of the best free software to use when recording your podcast remotely. Oh my God, oh my God she's finally connecting, she's finally connecting. Hello, Rue, are you there? Michelle, what? A cease and desist for having the same podcast name? No, 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 no. My podcast is What's the Tea with Sarah D and yours is RuPaul's What's the Tea. It's not the same at all. Hello? Hello? She just hung up. If you want to grow your podcast, definitely check out our website, osha.co, so you can see all of the tools we've created to help make your life as a podcaster easier. I hope this video has helped you. If that's the case, please do not hesitate to like, share, or subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on our next videos. That's all. See you soon. Bye.